Hello, dear friends. I am Dr. Anju Gandhi, working as postgraduate teacher in Department of School Education, Haryana, India. I am also associated with Open Education for Better World uh, online mentoring program under UNESCO. I am presenting my presentation based on the experience of a training that was conducted during COVID-19 and I was uh, I was uh, invited as a resource person for the training. So the topic of my presentation is professional development for creating and implementing open education resources a case of government school teachers training in Haryana, India. As you all know, an inevitable consequence of COVID pandemic fell upon the education system all over the globe. It has induced panic, stress, confusion in all mind regarding the present and future of education. The teaching was disrupted by the pandemic to a large extent and consequently anxiety has been raised among the student, parents and teachers regarding transacting the education during pandemic. As per the UNESCO report, pandemic has impacted around 120 crores of students across the globe. The big shift means a shift in use of technology and transacting education that we have been seen in teaching in recent times has become the trend. Teaching from face to face converted into online teaching, which otherwise we call the pandemic shift. All the educational regulatory bodies across the globe recommended online education to continue the teaching learning process. Thus, the school have been converted into digital space. Consequently, teachers started using different virtual platforms, social media, online meeting platforms without proper training and institutional support. As you can see in the picture, how a teacher is managing her class. Even some of the other teachers started sharing any content or resources, either copyrighted or open education resources, those who are not much aware about the process, meaning, and the way of developing open education resources. They are using the content just to continue the education process at student ease. If we talk about the resources, means open education resources, it can be defined as technology enabled open provision of education resources for consultation, use and adaptation by the community of the user for non-commercial purposes. In light of COVID-19 pandemic, the shift to online teaching has been rapid and OER have been called to attention as cost-effective option to cater to this name. But OER, if used with sustainable pedagogical practice, can lead to learner being more active in learning process, as well as creating knowledge. These practices have been collectively termed as open education practices and can be defined as wide range of individual and collective practices inherent in conceptualizing creating, adapting, creating, and sharing OERs. If we see the OER in India and the adaptation of OER in India, India has taken several steps for the development and welfare of OER in India as open education practices for the sustainable 
डेवलपमेंट गोल गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया बाया नेशनल नॉलेज कमीशन अंडरस्टूड द रोल ऑफ ओ आर इन इनहसिंग द क्वालिटी एजुकेशन एंड एक्सेस टू इट इन दंट्री देर आर सम ऑफ द इनिशियटिव टेकन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फर्स्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट एंड मोस्ट फेमस इनिशियटिव दैट इज नेपटेल इट्स प्राइम एम is developing and enhancing the basic knowledge of science and engineering with the help of multimedia and internet sashakt is another program uh, with the effort of ministry of human resource development that is uh, now known as ministry of education for the purpose of supporting and enhancing e learning e uh, e documents that are developed through national mission on education through ict are de delivered through this very portal another initiative is e pg patshala e pg patshala for the development of post graduation program in india the ministry of education under the canopy of national mission on education through ict has assigned ugc a assignment for the development of e content in 77 subject of post graduation level the e pg patshala covers mainly uh, subjects in the broad spectrum across the discipline of arts sciences language engineering and technology medical health sciences and life sciences another program is national institute of open schooling nios this is oer initiative of ministry of education government of india it claims to be the largest schooling system in the world nios was established with the vision to develop sustainable inclusive learning with universal and flexible access to quality school education as well as skill development and the mission to providing relevant continuing and holistic education up to the pre degree level through open and distance learning system another aim of nios is contributing to universalization of school education and catering to the educational need of the uh, target group for equity and social justice another program is nr oer national repository of open education resources it is another project of oer it was launched by the ministry of education with the collaborative effort of ciet central institute on educational technology ncert in collaboration with department of school education and literacy the repository support education via audio video images textual documents on various topic in various subject which are broadly mapped in five categories and these categories are math science social sciences languages and art education if we talk about the role of teacher in using fabricating and disseminating oer oer the digital education resources either in a form of video photos audio or a multimedia software apps tool website etc that are free for everyone oer with their licensing condition for reuse revise remix retain redistribute teacher is the only one who know who are the uh, who know the learners learning style what are the needs of the learner socio economical background of the learner so while selecting the resources they consider all these aspects actually teacher is only one 
who is the fabricator of the oers for their student but teachers usually do not the knowledge and the skill to use oer creating of oer and even know all about oer and licensing teacher need new skill and knowledge to make the most of oers thus teachers either pre service or in service need to be trained on utilizing oer into their teaching learning process if we see uh, the report uh, of unesco published in the year of 2019 stresses the need to train in service and pre service teacher on accessing using adapting creating and sharing oer so there is a urgent need that was creating during the pandemic to design teaching training program and curricula to develop teachers knowledge and skill on all phases of utilizing oer into their teaching initially it is important that teacher are able to find and use oers at that time cit and crt realized that teacher should know about oer as well as they should have to develop their own content in their native or local language so that they can continue their teaching learning process during the pandemic if we talk about the uh, agencies that are working in india for teacher education at different levels level means national level state level and local level at a national level ncte national council for teacher education ugc nec and crt nupa are working at state level scrt working in all the states of india and at the local level dit district institute for education and training are working in all the districts of uh Uh, all over the india in specifically i am talking about here about the uh, haryana district dites in haryana if we see the uh, functions dif- uh, different function of national council of educational research and training they conducted uh, the in service and pre service teachers training and even uh, organize or conducting the survey for uh, uh, research uh, uh, specific survey and data uh, textbooks for o level and curriculum development development of audio visual digital content under ciet with the help of central institute of education training uh, and crt is working uh, with all these aims if we see the function of ciet uh, they conducted the or uh, uh, conducting the or- orientation of educational planners administrators to the cons- uh, uh, regarding the educational technology and uh, they also conducting the trainings and the workshop for the teachers they are product uh, audio visual and educational material uh, over producted by the uh, ciet research and evaluation to test the digital resources and improve system method and material for the education if we see the uh, if we see the functions of scrt that is a state uh, state council of education research and training they also conducting the uh, trainings and uh, develop curriculums capacity building programs for in service teachers at state level they also organizing uh, and implement the special education project sponsored by unicef or nceert at the district level 
डाइट्स आर वर्किंग डाइट्स डिस्ट्रिक्ट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड ट्रेनिंग दे आल्सो वर्क फॉर द करिकुलम एंड मटेरियल डेवलपमेंट कैरी आउट फील्ड स्टडी टू इंप्रूव स्कूल एजुकेशन आल्सो कंट्रीब्यूटिंग इन एजुकेशन प्लानिंग एंड रिसर्च एंड आल्सो कंडक्टिंग द इन सर्विस एंड प्री सर्विस टीचर्स ट्रेनिंग the main focus of today presentation is a case of government school teachers training in haryana regarding the e content development with these objective the training was uh, organized during the pandemic objectives of the trainings are to equip the teachers aware of various authoring tool and software for content development as well as to Uh, to train the teacher for e-content development and aim of the training program was to equip teacher with the knowledge and the skill to use and manage existing oers as well as to develop new ones for their specific language discipline subject education level and according to the learner age and needs as well as to develop digital competency among the teachers and preparing them to integrate oers in teaching learning process first phase of the training was conducted by ciet five uh, teachers from different state were selected as mts and the second phase uh, of the training was conducted by scrt as of Uh, as a follow up of ciet initiative for e content development five uh, teachers from different districts of haryana were selected as mts i am also one of the mts in this training after uh, the scrt initiative diet at district level conducted these training five teachers from different block of uh, district fatehabad were selected as e content developers and uh, as a training participant from different schools across the district this is the training schedule conducted by the scrt and this is the training schedule conducted by the diet fatehabad haryana diet fatehabad also developed a app for the sake of uh, this online training all the participants join uh, join the training via this uh, app these are the some authoring tools that covered during the teachers training one of the famous uh, and most like by the participant is h5p for interactive content development uh, stop motion animation kind master canva for the infographic for the worksheet purpose wise me and uh, anchor for the podcast crazy for the presentation order city for the post uh, podcast as well Uh, GeoGebra for the mathematics teacher and the free mind for creating the mind map for the different subject and Google Classroom also covered during the uh, teacher training so that they can continue their uh, teaching in a blend form means they can so that in future they can uh, continue their teaching in a blended uh, form of teaching or you can say uh, blended learning. these are the some infographics developed by the participants for the primary uh, as the participants are uh, from secondary schools or the primary schools so these are the some infographics uh, this one of the infographic for the elementary school students these are for the pre service teachers and these are for the secondary and higher secondary school uh, students Uh, these are uh, the some podcast link that was created by the participant during the training these are the some presentation was developed by the prezi presentation tool 
these are uh, the samples of uh, GeoGebra based videos. These are the some glimpses of uh, interactive content that was created by the uh, H5P, that is web based tool. Or uh, we can also create this interactive content uh, using the Lumi education. Uh, this is the uh, image hotspot. This is a interactive quiz, drag and drop activity. This is all the interactive content developed using the H5P. And one of uh, little, uh, little research is also conducted during this training. Based on the Digicom, that is European Digital Competency Framework for Citizen, uh, one questionnaire was developed based on this frame, uh, framework. And uh, pre-test and post-test was conducted. Out of 60 participants, 50 participants were, uh, were participated in this research and these are the result of pre-test and the post-test. And it was uh, seen that uh, digital competency was improved after the training. This paper depicts training of e-content development in the state government schools of Haryana. It also reflects on how such training can contribute to sustainable open education practices. In addition, the ability to support such effective practices through creating opportunity for school teachers to contribute and develop context-specific OERs through freely available tools. Some consistency is likely as participants embrace openness and incorporate open education practices within their teaching practices. So this is all about the training that was conducted for the school teacher in state Haryana. And thank you so much for giving me the opportunity for sharing my idea and my experience in open education conference. Thank you so much.